All right, it is 2022. I can't believe I'm saying that 2021 flew by. It is January 1st. Unbelievable. We are under a winter storm warning right now. They are predicting several inches of snow. I never pump it up too much because I remember times where they have predicted four to eight inches of snow and we received less than an inch. But I need to make preparations. I have to get ready. Hopefully we'll be able to get some snowplow uh, content tonight. And it's going to be a long night either way. Uh, even if it's just two to three inches, there's still you know work to be done. So we'll definitely get some video action on that. But first I need to go to the yard and I need to fuel stuff up, get everything ready. I might even pre-salt uh, because this is supposed to be a big one, but we will find out. All right, I'm just pulling into the yard. It's like 1230, it's New Year's Day. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and pre-salt. I'm not a huge believer in pre-salting. I know everybody has their opinion on that, but I wanna warm up the skid steer, I wanna warm up the truck, I'm gonna fuel up the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and load it, lay down a little bit of salt just to make sure that the truck is running good, the salter's fine. That way, if we do get a big storm later, I know everything's ready to go. Fire up the old 7.3. It's 20 degrees, it's not plugged in. I know it'll start right up. Once it gets a little bit colder than this, then we do plug it in, obviously, so we don't have problems. It's a great engine, but can't ask for miracles. Make sure the glow plugs are done. Cycling. Come on. Right up, no problem at all. Beautiful. Yeah. Started right up, no problem. So I'm curious, do you guys go out and pre-salt? I very rarely pre-salt unless the storm's gonna start out really icy. I generally don't pre-salt. I know and I've read and I've listened to, you know, other contractors say that pre-salting can, you know, really help and it helps with the amount of salt that you use afterwards. I don't know, I guess I have a little bit different opinion. I feel like I just end up salting the same lot twice. Um, I just feel like I'm wasting salt when I pre-salt. And uh, I'm probably wrong about that. I don't know. I'm just curious. What do you guys do and why? Wow, it is icy out here. Yeah. I know some of you guys might laugh at my wood extension that actually holds an extra yard of salt or approximately one ton extra of salt. I'm gonna salt and then I'm gonna fuel this truck up. And then I have a windshield wiper arm and some new blades for the S130. I'm hoping to be able to put on I brought some tools. I'm gonna to try to fix the wiper arm and wiper blades on the S130. Oh, 
Yes. Should be pretty good right there. It's hard for me to explain to you guys that don't know about snow and cold how much more difficult everything is in the winter time. And I mean everything you try to do is just more difficult. It should be good to go. All right, I'm going to start both skid steers, make sure they start and run fine. If they're low on fuel, I'm going to run them up and fuel them up at the nearest gas station. All right, it's not real happy, but it started. All right, we'll make sure if this, this one's fine. All right, it's 1.15 in the morning. I am about to get out of here. The snow is just tapering off right now. Uh, it'll probably snow lightly for another hour or two, but I can get started. I'm gonna run to the yard, reload with salt, and then I'm gonna head down uh, to the account. Bugs is gonna meet me down there at three, hopefully, if he got my text message. <laughs> uh, it looks like we only got about maybe two to three inches. Uh, I haven't been outside, but it looks like that from inside my house. They were calling for this one to be a big one, but I said it earlier in the video, it happens all the time. They'll call for a whole bunch of snow. Winter storm warning, they'll start talking about the storm that's coming days in advance, only to be two inches. <laughs> that happens all the time. Uh, I would say maybe three inches. Not a ton. Nowhere near what they were talking about. See, Speedway went bean to cup, and their coffee tastes 50% more disgusting the coffee used to be pretty good but not anymore that's a nice machine you got there that brand new yeah that's brand new. is this the first time you've been out this year no second second, second time man that thing's beautiful that thing's got to be a hundred grand. Yeah. Something they like rough, that. They're rough, though. Are they? Oh, it beats you up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there ain't no comfort in it. No. Have a good one. All right, I'm here at the yard. I'm going to load this salter up real quick. And then we'll be on our way. It's going to be pretty easy tonight. skid loader and uh, knock all this out I got a bunch of driveways I'm gonna do first hopefully bugs will be here soon he can take the truck and start doing this big lot here and then there's another big lot in the front and the sides so we'll knock all this out should be pretty easy uh, if you want to take this one I'm gonna go and start doing the driveways yeah if you want to take the truck it's probably easiest to start in the back lot. Start up there. Well, no, and back where we are. Okay. This is the easiest place to plow. All right. I'm going to do the driveways, and then I'll come back here. All right. Where have so, you been, man? Uh, man, I was in Kansas. I was in Atlanta, Georgia. 
I was in uh, St. Louis. Yeah, I was in St. Louis, and then I was just in Detroit. Really? Yeah. Detroit was really cool, man. Really? It was a really good experience. I was with some really cool dudes. Nice. How's it going? Are you working with Mike? Huh? Are you working with Mike? Yeah. Oh, all right.
How's it going? Good. Well, thanks for the help. I'm done plowing what I have to plow. Bugs is going to finish this lot back here. I'm going to jump in the S130 and do all the city sidewalks. Got a bunch of city sidewalks to do. They go pretty quick though. When he finishes, just salt this lot and then that lot right there. How do I get to that, man? You go around. That's it. That's all the city sidewalks. Everything is plowed, bugs are salting, and I'm uh, going to get out of here. All right, it's 5.33. We are all done. Bugs and I just finished up. That was super easy. It was only a couple inches of powdery snow, so no problem. They were calling for six to nine inches. <laughs> that happens all the time here in Wisconsin. It probably happens where you're from too. Let me know if that's the case. They predict big snowstorms quite often here and they don't materialize. Um, I know it's pretty difficult to uh, predict weather accurately, so I don't give them too much grief or whatever. But uh, tonight just was one of those cases. Wasn't much, but uh, we got to do something. I like to play in the snow. I enjoy snow plowing. Uh, I really enjoy it when the pressure is not on me. I don't have a lot of snow plowing, so it's more enjoyable than anything. So, all right, I'm going to go home, take a shower, and go to bed. I will see you guys on the next one. Adios. <laughs>